Welcome to another Eric Waite Whiskey Study. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the High West Whiskey American Prairie Bourbon. Uh, this is bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. This is batch 18D10. Uh, the producer is in uh, Park City, Utah. Uh, I did an uncorking of this, sort of a preliminary review with Chris from uh, Bourbon Insane. Uh, if you wanna check out that live stream, I'll uh, put a link to it at the end of this video. Um, but this is a whiskey I think needs some time to open up. It requires a little bit of patience. Um, in fact, even before we went live, I had opened it up and had it open for a few days, and I've had it now open for a few days uh, before doing this review. So, uh, I'm giving it uh, all food fair uh, due time, I think, to open up, um, and I think now it's ready for our full formal review. But before I do so, uh, here are my notes. High West is dedicated to preserving and promoting the American West. The American Prairie Reserve in Montana is a 5,000 square mile land tract the size of Connecticut, restored to what Lewis and Clark would have seen. To help preserve this land, High West will donate 10% of after-tax profits from each bottle to the American Prairie Foundation. It is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys aged from 2 to 13 years with the following mash bills. The first is 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley from MGP. The second is 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley from an un- disclosed source, and the third are other whiskey components that are undisclosed due to contractual reasons. It is bottled at 92 proof or 46% alcohol by volume. So color-wise, it is a light copper, a light amber, so it's light in color, it's slightly golden as well. So it's pretty light in color on the nose. It definitely has opened up a lot. Uh, it's smelling a little bit more like a traditional bourbon uh, than what uh, I had on the initial impression and during the live stream. I'm getting some corn, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of spice. It has a sort of a dusty corn character to it. A hint of a licorice or, all, all, or, uh, or anise. Minor notes of vanilla, cinnamon, cardamom, baking spices, uh, a little bit of a woody character. All right, on the palate. Mm. One more. Mm. All right. I would say this whiskey has improved tremendously since the live stream. So Chris, if you're watching this, give it some time and go back to it, try it again. Interested in what your thoughts would be on this. When I initially opened it, what I was getting a lot, a lot of the new make, a lot of the white dog, a lot of the green notes, you know, um, Maybe some green apple. I was getting a lot of graininess too. It was like a dusty corn, but it seemed kind of like, like a dusty wheat, almost like a burlap sack. I wasn't getting the rich vanilla notes and all that. And even on the live stream, we, we, you know, we had sipped a little bit of it. I wasn't loving it. I could tell it had improved during the live stream, but Still wasn't loving it, so about halfway through the live stream, we moved on to a, another bottle. Now, it has come around. Um, getting a lot more apples, a little bit of pear, then getting into the cinnamon, and getting um, the, the vanilla and a little bit of oakiness to it. It's seeming a lot more now like a traditional um, a bourbon. It doesn't seem super young as it did. The primary comment we had uh, during the live stream on it was it seemed like it needed more time in oak. Now, I think it's found its balance. I think it's found its place uh, and I'm definitely liking it a lot more. But here's the issue. In my neighborhood, this sells for $22 to $29. 
Chris said in his neighborhood he was paying over $40. Quality price ratio is going to be a major factor in this as to how it shows itself. Um, this does not have the depth and richness and sweetness uh, of so many other bourbons out there on the market. If you're paying any more over, or anything more than $29, you're paying way too much. This is not a $40 whiskey. Uh, I, I, already during Bourbon Month, March 2019, I've already reviewed several bourbons in the $30 to $40 range, or even the $40 to $50 range, that would completely blow this away. Um, this is a $20 bourbon at best. Um, and I'm being generous by saying if you're paying over $29, I really should say if you're paying any more than $20 at best. Um, what I'm gonna give it in terms of score, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it 85 points. It's good, um, it, it's, now it is balanced, it just doesn't deliver what you're really, really looking for in a really good bourbon. And I think there are probably even some bourbons under $20 that would beat this one. So, not every bourbon during bourbon month is going to be, uh, uh, one that I'm gonna highly recommend. This is gonna be one I'm gonna say, you know what? For me, personally, I'm gonna pass on this one, hopefully, because this is the first one uh, from High West that I've tried uh, out of Utah that I've tried. Hopefully some of the other bottles are better. All right, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and the other social networking channels. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you've tried this bourbon and you have a different opinion, or you even wanna add your two cents to what I've already said, leave your comments down below because I wanna hear from you. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.